and blood pressure and blood drawn and weight. You think it's worthy of drawing that? I got the awesome shirt. Just got blood drawn. Went over the prescription list. He's a tough guy. He has to get it done in his wrist because the veins in his arms are starting to just not work very well. They collapse and they roll and stuff like that, but he's the boss. He's doing amazing. Look at this guy. He's awesome. Wrist every time. That's right. Hi, so now we're in the um, room waiting for Dr. Miller to come in and kind of give us an update on his blood work and um, talk about prescriptions that we need. I think he's kind of built up a tolerance to some of his pain medication, so he's been having to go through a little bit more quickly. Um, so that's something that we may have to adjust or change. So this is just kind of one of those things that you have to kind of keep an eye out for and be prepared for and um, keep an open conversation with each other about so that I know what to talk to the doctor about and let them know about because mm -hmm. he's tired, he's ready to go to sleep, and tired. that happens a lot. It's nap time. It's nap time. So as soon as the doctor comes in and we get all of the information that we need, we'll go to the back room where he gets hooked up for his chemotherapy treatments, and then he'll fall asleep. And then maybe I'll run a couple errands, and um, that's basically how it goes. So. so you can go find his breakfast. We already had breakfast, but whatever. Okay, <laughs> we'll have breakfast again. <laughs> Bye. So here we are in the um, infusion lounge. So they got these awesome, big, comfortable couches. And he's getting a uh, dose of Opdivo right now. And he was really hungry, so we went and got some Subway. And he gets to have whatever he wants. So we got a meatball sub. And I got a turkey sub. And he's just really tired right now. So as soon as he's done eating, he's probably going to fall asleep, right? Sleep on the way home. Probably going to sleep on the way home. And then um, while he's asleep in the car, I'm probably going to stop and run a couple errands, do a couple things, grocery shop, stuff like that. Fun times. So I stepped outside for a few minutes just because it's beautiful outside and he's done eating so he is going to be falling asleep very shortly. But one of the things that you definitely want to bring anytime you're doing chemo or radiation, especially if they're on a lot of pain medication, is a little cooler. I bring this little cooler and it was absolutely slap filled with um, water, Gatorade, Sprite, anything that he would actually drink and it is empty except for one Gatorade. So he drinks a lot of fluids now which is good but it's hard to keep him hydrated. If you look at their fingers, like your normal fingers look like normal skin, if you're really dehydrated. Um, it'll almost look like pruney, like you've been in the bathtub too long. So I try to keep an eye out for anything like that going on with him. And if I see it, I'll have him drink a bottle of water really quickly, just down it as fast as you can. And the pruning will go away within 30 minutes or so, which means he's good and hydrated. So just wanted to give kind of an update on some things that you can do and be prepared for if you're taking care of someone with cancer. Um, again, if you have any questions uh, for me or for Patrick, don't hesitate to leave some comments below and um, I'll leave a couple links for some little cooler bags that I think are really great um, and some alkaline water. Alkaline water is supposed to be really good for you. I'm not even 100% sure what it's supposed to do, but it's supposed to alkaline the, the body and help you fight off viruses and um, supposedly cancer as well so that's what I always get for him so I'll include a link for some alkaline water um, so don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, thank you so much and we appreciate all of you thanks